kill myself five minutes uh, for questions. And I, I don't have so much a question this time. I normally have short uh, questions. But uh, Chairman Bernanke, I, I really want to speak to the members on both sides. Uh, the chairman has consistently told members of Congress that reducing the, the deficit will have both long-term and short-term benefits for the economy. Uh, while acknowledging that a credible deficit reduction plan will require deficit, uh, difficult choices, uh, Chairman Bernanke has stated unequivocally that Congress must act to take government spending off an unsustainable path. Uh, a year ago, it is testimony before this committee, which was on February 24th, he said it is very, very important for Congress and the administration to come to some kind of program, some kind of plan that will credibly show how the United States government is going to bring itself back to a sustainable position. It would be very helpful even to current recovery to mark its confidence if there were a sustainable, credible path to the extent that we can achieve credible plans to reduce medium and long-term deficits. We'll actually have more flexibility in the short term if we want to take other uh, kinds of actions. And that was in uh, response to a question I asked him. Um, this year, earlier, really one month ago today, he told the uh, House Budget Committee that acting now to develop a credible program to reduce future deficits would not only enhance economic growth and sustainability in the long run, it would yield substantial near-term benefits in terms of lower long-term interest rates and increased consumer and business confidence. Obviously, that would lead to more jobs. And he also said one month ago to the House, by definition, the unsustainable trajectories of deficits and debt that the CBO outlines cannot actually happen because creditors will never be willing to lend to a government with debt relative to national income that is rising without limit. So normally I would ask him, what do we do? But I, he's told us time and time and time again that we need to get our physical house in order. Um, so my question would normally be that. But obviously my question is going to change a little bit. And uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, you're in charge of, Federal Reserve is in charge of monetary policy, as I understand it. And I think that's true. Uh, the Congress and the executive branch is in charge of physical policy. And you can advise us, but you can't take charge of that policy. Uh, our failure to address physical policy in a uh, responsible manner, how does that make your job as Fed President and the Federal Reserve's uh, charge to, to manage monetary policy harder and more difficult? And what effect has it had on, on uh, what you're doing. Well, thank you for quoting me <laughs> from earlier testimonies, and I, I stand by those, by those statements. Um, the concern is uh, if the uh, federal deficit remains on an unsustainable path, that uh, we could see at some point uh, a sharp increase in interest rates, uh, which would be both uh, bad for recovery and bad for um, financial stability. It would go obviously go against the efforts of the Fed to keep interest rates low so that we can have recovery. Um, so uh, again, while um, I understand these are difficult decisions and we certainly can't solve it all in the current fiscal year, I do think we need to look forward, and I know the House Budget Committee and, and others will be setting up a 10-year uh, proposal. Uh, it's very important and would be very constructive for Congress to lay out a plan uh, that would be credible, that will help bring us to uh, sustainability over the next few years. In particular, um, uh, one rule of thumb is uh, cutting enough that the ratio of the debt to GDP stops rising, because currently it's rising relatively quickly. Um, if we could stabilize that, I think that would do a, a lot to increase uh, confidence uh, in our government and in our uh, fiscal policies. Uh, thank you, Chairman Bernanke. And, and let me say to the members, we've mentioned QE2 today. Um, I think the Federal Reserve, whether you, you uh, 
applaud or criticize that decision. Um, our lack of responsibility here, the QE2 has given us some opportunity uh, to act on um, our debt and deficit, and we have not taken advantage of that. And uh, it makes the options of the Fed, it limits those options. Uh, so any criticism directed at the chairman, you need to also sort of point that finger back at yourself. Uh, Mr. Or Ranking Member.